Hey everyone. I um Whew. Well, I have been I've had a bunch of questions kind of kicking around my head or a bunch of things that I'm kind of wrestling with, I suppose would be the right word. Um Starting with this cabaret that, as you know, I performed about two weeks ago, two weeks ago Saturday, and that I had planned tentatively to do another version of this Thursday, um, that's still a plan. But what is coming up is uh, it's just all it's as interesting as anything <laughs> um because i'm finding you know i'm just finding like well what is that next after after doing after doing a performance last time i felt so much like i was in the in the work i felt this as i described in my post the next day this kind of existential relief because I had done, I, I had taken that step of creating this thing that's been in my mind for so long. And then, but I've had now two, two weeks, two weeks plus a few days to, to think about it, to stew in it again. And what is just becoming, it's, it's in, and what that translates into is, well, new resistance. What's the resistance now? And It's really bizarre, you know, like what comes up for me is this sense of, on the one hand, it's like a penetrating observation. I feel as though I'm being observed, but almost observed like invasively. And it's it's hard to pinpoint exactly where that where that feeling comes from, um, but there's a sense of just being watched closely, and 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 of course you know as I as from the way I'm saying it I'm sure you can tell it's not like I'm being watched in a way that feels good it's it's like being watched in a way that feels like I have a laser beam pointed at me or something. And um, which is really interesting because on the other hand, I have this kind of deep desire, longing to be seen and to actually be watched, to be observed, to, to, have, to, to have that presence. And but but I guess what's you know the, the reason why that's emerging as significant as I sort of head into the next round is because that's really the thing I was talking to my friend Ruth about this that really feels like the almost like the central barrier for me right now in 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 life in in virtually everything this feeling that somehow I'm being I'm being scrutinized is just a it, it's 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 what creates all of the kind of heaviness you know my friend Ruth said it really, said it really beautifully because on the one hand there's this as I um riff on ideas for the cabaret with my friend Ruth or with anybody or just in, in on my own in, in my own kind of play creation mode there's a kind of it's like I will see myself I will see my own uh, conundrums and challenges 
And I'll also be able to maintain a larger perspective, a higher perspective from which, so then it's like, it's almost like I can in real time convert my own pain into comedy. That heaviness of my life is seen from a perspective that makes it inherently light or that, that doesn't maybe make it light, but it, but it understands that it's light. It under, it has that transcendent realization that knows that actually it's, it's light because it's here to serve me. You know, it has, it contains all of that information of, uh, of wisdom and, and kind of self-knowledge that, that knows there's not really a problem here and that kind of pokes fun at me for feeling the problem. But when I get in performance mode, when I get that scrutiny, it's funny because I talk about this, this is like literally my starting point for, for piano. When I, get, when I get under that microscope, I start to feel as though it, it, I, I just lose all, that, all of that lightness. I, all the heaviness remains and I am able to realize that there's a perspective beyond the heaviness, but it's like I can't access it. I can't actually access the light. I just stay in the heaviness. And so that's, so then that's where the content feels heavy. The product, the actual kind of like where I, where, where I am psychically feels heavy. And I'm putting these pieces together mostly because, you know, for th this, this cabaret, this, this, uh, performance is really, it feels like it's unearthing this, this issue in me. It feels like it's, it's, it's opening a door into resistance and some obstacles that are that are that affect my entire life and that and that have affected me for a long time so i'm trying to unpack them and just feel kind of what, what what's really going on like I'm, I'm trying to use this experience at you know i'm i'm basically doing what i'm what i have talked about you know the I'm, I'm allowing the creative process to be a spiritual practice. The creative process becomes a process of self-inquiry, knowing where I know myself. I, I, I learn to know myself. I get to know myself. Um, you know, and what I, in terms of the cabaret itself, I've kind of discovered, like, as long as I can treat it like a discovery. You know what, I, one thing I picked up on was, I, I've been doing this work with Madeline, as I talked about yesterday, that feels so profound and so amazing. But it also feels like I'm just scratching the surface in some ways with that, and I am really still, uh, I'm really still, putting it together I, I, it, I'm opening a door there and so I'm not I don't feel ready or and I don't feel compelled to share that work yet with you know in a, in a performance it, you know like the, the Chopin etudes that I'm working on I'm, I'm not ready to play them in fact playing them would almost be in some ways probably harmful because what I'm learning in the work is is a is a a way of letting go of that driving energy that wants it to be right, you know. And I think doing it, trying to do that in performance would just wouldn't be appropriate. It's not time. It's not, it's not it's, that's not where I am. So I have this ongoing practice, this ongoing development that's happening. And over here, I've said, all right, but I also want to be committed to generating something, which the cabaret is also 
a, a very different kind of product. It's not the same thing as playing classical piano. I mean, I'm, I intend to put some classical pieces on the program, but it's but it's not strictly about that. And so, if the focus of my practice feels like it's not ready to be presented, but I'm over here saying I, I do want to present something, you know, is that a is that a is that is that an impulse that I need to just kind of be careful of? Should I be waiting? But I don't necessarily think that's right. I think that actually I'm on track with realizing that I'm that that the cabaret is something else that it's actually a discovery you know it, it is a discovery mode for me you know the thing I talk about in my piano teaching a lot is playing in discovery mode precisely in order to alleviate that sense of scrutiny that we all bring in some way and that many of us have experienced, you know, in, in our in our training in various ways. Um, so I think the most important things for me to clock from this are simply that the way in which I, the thing that gives me the greatest sense of resistance is that sense of scrutiny that sense of judgment, that sense of being observed invasively. And learning to frame what I'm doing in such a way that I, you know, either break free of that or insulate myself from it. it. You know, I choose I choose an activity, I choose a way of of, of engaging that, that doesn't permit that, that doesn't open the door to that energy. Um, this is the work. This is the work I'm doing and and I, I it's it's all kind of it, I feel like it's all blending together the, the, the way in which on this post I'm exploring the idea of the creative process as a spiritual practice. If this is the kind of reflect the reflection on that. The cabaret is the project, the work, the, the, the piece. And, and, the, and the other things I'm doing in my life are components of that. All these parts are kind of orienting for me right now, and I think, you know, I decided to do a post about it because I'm, I'm really trying to find a way of, of taking a coherent look at all this and giving myself that chance to feel this resistance, to identify it, to label it, and to do it anyway. Annalise has completely adopted the phrase, you know, feel the fear and do it anyway. She, she loves to talk about how she was afraid of something and then she did it anyway and she had fun. That's, she, she says that over and over. It's so beautiful to see. And I'm learning the same lesson. Thanks for watching, folks. There is a cabaret coming up this Thursday, 4 p.m. my time, 6 p.m. Eastern. We're on. I'm going to be discovering what happens, but it's on. So much love, appreciate you. Have a wonderful afternoon, wonderful day. I'll see you soon.